everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the different games that we've done during the last playthrough. Uh, this is a review of Legacy Event number two, uh, the two-man series. It uh, This is round one, game one versus, uh, I believe it was Dredge first. Yeah, versus Dredge. Uh, this game, we ended up playing against a person named Hyperfrog, which we actually played round three as well. I just didn't realize until it was too late. Uh, I'm going to go through and just kind of pause when we get to those points. Um, first off, this opening hand, fine against any random opponent. We didn't know what was going on. If our opponent is playing one of the few aggro decks in the format, then we have a Swords for his opening play. We have Ooze or Mystic for the next one. If they're playing Show and Tell or Hive Mind. Uh, we're, we're doomed to the Hive Mind combo, but we're fine against Show and Tell. And if they're playing against Stoneblade, we're able to drop our Mystic and Sword theirs without issue. Um, as it turns out that they're playing Putrid Imps, which means that they're playing Dredge. So this hand isn't the greatest against Dredge, but it's still pretty effective. Um, we have our first misplay coming up right here. We go through and fetch a Bayou. Now, for the attempt to play Liliana, yeah, that's fine, but Liliana is not very good against Dredge, and we need the white source to be able to swords. Uh, if we don't swords, they discard their dredger during their upkeep, they dredge, then they discard it again and possibly breakthrough or careful study or whatever else may come. So get the white source, swords that swords the imp. I mean, dredge dredges five to six cards every single turn that they get a chance to but you don't need to help them do that that doesn't mean that they'll get another dredger in their yard it doesn't mean that they'll even get anything useful um, yeah we're gonna keep going at this point I'm gonna actually fast forward a little bit and we'll be right back alright welcome back uh, next up we have at about two and a quarter minutes in we have the recovery from our, our glorious turn one play Ironically, only one turn has passed, and it's been almost two minutes. Um, what we're doing here is we're playing the birds and the swords. What that allows us to do is actually have an active ooze next turn, which, in theory, should give us the game. I mean, they they didn't break through anything, so we don't have to worry about that. They're only going to be able to discard any dredgers that they have in hand or any enablers that they have in hand. Well, not the enablers. All the enablers are, are down. Um... Fortunately for us, they discarded the breakthrough, or they milled the breakthrough. The Narcomeva was appears to have been discarded. So, I mean, we're we're in pretty good shape just based on that. Um, they are only going to be going six by six. So, if we get an ooze down, we can we have an active ooze on turn three instead of playing the Mystic right now or the ooze right now and trying to do other things. We can just play the bird, take care of the problem that we forgot about on the first turn, and have the ooze active next turn. Had we remembered to hit the putrid imp, our opponent would only have one grave troll in the yard. Uh, let me actually check a little bit on that. Hold on. All right, let me rec let me correct a couple things here. Narcomeba went to uh, good Paul therapy. Um, yeah, he'd only have the one troll in the yard. We'd still have the Narc Amoeba in the yard just due to the Cabal Therapy. Our opponent would still be in this position. It'd just be a little bit better for us. Um, it'd mean that if they don't hit a dredger in, another dredger in 12 cards, the initial 6 from the first Grave Troll and the 6 from the second Grave Troll, we wouldn't have to worry about anything. Ironically, our opponent does have the, uh, the Dark Blast, so that's pretty much that. The rest of this game is pretty much uh, just kind of out there. We end up drawing a green source, which is what we need. Uh, if we don't draw the green source, we still play the ooze at this point. Uh, we Them going 6x6 six six and us having an ooze, are, it's more important that way. We can play the mystic the next turn, keeping up the ooze. We can do all the other things, depending on what we do. But thanks to the fact that we do draw the horizon canopy coming up, we do actually just win this, essentially. Um, if they don't have a creature in play, they can't cast Dreader Turn, they can't cast uh, Cabal Therapy. So we just have to ride out that they don't hit all three of the remaining Narc Amoebas and have 
an Icarid that's randomly there, and yeah, it's, I mean, we're in great shape, and the fact that he dredged the Dark Blast worrying about what we could play, I mean, I don't know what he'd be worrying about game one, I'm not metagame to any specific deck, this is actually an older list, so, I mean, you play to what you feel you have to play to. But that's it for this game. We ended up taking it on the back of the ooze. All right, we'll be back for round two.